All right, let's get to some of the most fun parts of any synth, and that's surfing through the presets and checking out what different kinds of sounds this keyboard can make. The Prolog has a really amazing organizational system. You can surf through the presets in so many different ways that you can find the sounds you need immediately. So the first thing you can do, we're in this first mode, which is numerical. If I change the program knob, you'll see I'm going to sound two, sound three, sound four. So right there I'm on sound four, now I'm on sound five. So that's straight up numerical order. If I tap this program sort, the second button, I'm going to switch to category. If you tap it a few times, you can see the different categories. I'm in keyboards, chords, arpeggiators, combinations, sound effects, polysynths. So now when I rotate, you'll see it's jumping through different numbers, 21, 22, 23, 24. It's going numerically for now, but then it's going to skip ahead. Um, 249, 248, you know, these are all of the polysynth type sounds and you're leaving out all the others. If I tap the third button, I'm in alphabetical mode. Now starting to go stab, stabby, stairway, star, so obviously it's, uh, it's working. Tapping the button will give you the different letters so I can jump right to the V's, for example. Very cool. The fourth button is going to sort by likes. So as you're browsing through, if you have a sound, you can tap the fourth button and like the sound. So you'll see I've got an art plus pad that I like. I've got a barp that I like. So any sound that you tag with a like will have that little star next to it in the upper right corner. And you just tap and hold it to tag it as, you know, a liked sound. That's it. So the fifth button is frequent sounds. As you start to use sounds more and more often, it's going to sort them by the frequency that you use them. So sort of like a little AI sorting for you, automatically sorting sounds, you know, that you can find your go-to stuff right away. The next button is going to sort by envelope. This is one of my favorites. If you tap it, you can see you can sort by slow envelopes, fast envelopes, or mid envelopes. So you're talking about how the sound is used. So that one's got a mid-level envelope, and you can tap this to switch and go for your slow envelopes or your fast ones. Then the seventh button is random. And this is just if you want to get some inspiration. It'll just sort it randomly, 245, 128, 155. You can hear sounds that you never get to, you know, sounds that you find that you ignore or pass by, or maybe you don't get to them because they're up on the high end of things. So you've got a really great way that you can organize these sounds. And the last button is going to go to live set. And that we'll talk about a little later, but that's basically your ability to just make your own bank of presets that you use often and kind of put in whatever order you want. So there's really, really an excellent, excellent organizational paradigm on this synth. You can find what you need really fast.